Tonight, remembering Reese, family, friends, city and county officials gathered at Gaffney Park tonight to honor 15 year old Mauricio Calderon. He is the teenager who was shot and killed in Spartanburg last week, and deputies say it may have been a robbery that went wrong. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson has been following this story since it happened last week. He is live tonight in Gaffney, and you were at the vigil, and I know there were a lot of emotions out there tonight. Well, indeed it was, Cody. I can tell you that several dozen, maybe even more than 100 people gathered right here in this space between the Gaffney City Hall and also the fire department to remember the person that 15-year-old Mauricio Calderon was. These red balloons, this smiling face. He was just 15 years old. Mauricio Calderon was shot and killed in Spartanburg last week. His family called him Reese. For his mother, Michelle Calderon, this has been the hardest thing to deal with. It's never going to be the same. It's going to be empty. There's so many, everything in the house that reminds me of him. It's just too much. Spartanburg deputies tell us five people have been charged in connection to this crime. They say the person who pulled the trigger is just 15 also. Jack Logan of Put Down the Guns Now Young People facilitated this gathering. At Wednesday night's vigil, Cherokee County Sheriff Steve Mueller gave a stern warning that things must get better and people must show more respect for one another. We have to continue to strive to make change. And the change can start here. One voice can become two voices. Two of Reese's close friends talked about how they became best friends. Now a bond for other children has also been broken. He was like a brother to me, really. And uh, I cried a lot when I lost my best friend. Always hang out together and ride dirt bikes and stuff. They say time waits for no one, but for Reese's mother, that's what she'll need to get through this tragedy. Nothing's going to bring him back. He's gone. Certainly a tragedy here that has struck this family and community. Now, his funeral is scheduled for this Friday in Spartanburg. Happening this Sunday, friends and family will hold a fundraiser and a soccer game in honor of Mauricio. Reporting live in Gaffney tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.